My beautiful suffix, today I want to bring you guys to a not so new TV series called We Are Who We Are. The show is queer as fuck. First, we have Fraser and Harper. Then we have Sarah and Maggie. Can't wait to hear the Colonel's presentation. Stuart McCount is a shady and conceited man. He's got no balls. You were born to command. Stupid thing! I should know. And finally, a love affair between Maggie and Jenny. You're Nigerian, right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever make ego sisu? <laughs> Richard doesn't like it. You've had it before? <laughs> Once. I loved it. I have to be honest, the whole reason why I watched the show was because of Jenny and Maggie. I saw a clip of them on YouTube and I couldn't resist diving into their story. I was 23 and she showed up at the clinic for some tests. She was already pregnant, but it wasn't obvious. I was convinced she got pregnant the first time we made love. <laughs> I really did. I honestly <laughs> believed it. I was so curious to see that story. Plus, I love Elise Braga so much that she's probably the whole reason why I watched the show in the first place. Do you love her? Sometimes, when she's kissing me, it feels like she doesn't know it's me. She doesn't acknowledge me. It feels like she's kissing a mirror. Kissing a mirror. It's the only thing I've ever kissed in my life. The show tells the story of two American kids who live on a U.S. military base in Italy. Who is the Tommy? <laughs> Harper. E da dove vieni? Dalla base americana. Un americano. Ma Giulia, sei tu e la tua amica. Sorpresa! <laughs> As they explore friendship, first love, identity, and all the messy acceleration of being a teenager. The stuff you wear is inappropriate for what you're planning on doing. I'm not planning on doing anything. I heard you. You heard what? I was messing around. You can't mess around with that kind of thing. What do you want? Who do you think you are? You don't know anything about me, okay? Stay away from me. Are you guys planning on going back to the beach anytime soon, Harper? They are adults in the show and full-grown queer adult women who flirt at the side of the canal while fingering a pie together, who have hot, sappy sex in uniform, if that's your thing. And I wasn't not amused by all of this, but the show never does anything with these characters and storylines, which is a real shame, as I longed for more. My grandma was an amazing cook. She was the most important person in my life. So I like to cook like her. They only want me to make American food. What is American food? <laughs> Jenny and Maggie being together is oddly one of the most comforting moments in the show. Are you a Muslim? There used to be a lot of things. Truth is, I don't know who I am anymore. The show is beautiful, strong, important, emotional, and queer as fuck. If I had something to say less positively is that I don't like when characters that I am attracted to don't get poetic ends. That being said, I had to push myself to watch episode three and only then I was invested in the show. Believe it or not, it was only because of Harper. They are the most compelling character on the show, who we first meet as Caitlin. We soon discover that Harper is a trans man. You like me like this? What do you mean? Um, like this, like a guy. I don't know, I mean, no. I mean, I, I don't know, are you, are you still you? I was so seduced by the softness and warmth of the production. I enjoy the way I'm asked 
not just to listen or judge, but to observe. Unfortunately, We Are Who We Are has no second season yet, but it's currently streaming on HBO. Why do you always want to have sex after a fight? Why not? <laughs> Is there love in our truce? We're soldiers. We're always ready for battle. Come on. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching.